Hello and welcome to Man Cave Mechanic. Today we're going to be installing this Volvo Penta refurbished fuel pump along with showing you how to prime it and get it ready for starting. Let's get at it. Okay, let's just start out going over the Volvo Penta fuel pump. You have your fuel line coming in here from your gas tank. You've got six connections. Fuel line, you've got a return line from your fuel rail, and you've got a supply line coming from your high pressure pump. And then you've got a line going up to your uh, intake manifold that's a vent line. And then on the back here, you've got two circulating water lines for the water jacket that circ circulates around the fuel cell that's inside. Then you have an uh, electrical connection, connection for the high pressure pump and electrical connection for the low pressure pump. And then this little Schrader valve here is where you test your low pressure test staff and that's on another video that we've done. Okay down here you can see on the left side of the motor in the front you've got four bolts that will connect to it and what we need here for tools is 14 millimeter combination wrench, 14 millimeter socket, 11 16 wrench and a 5 8 inch wrench along with a Phillips screwdriver and a regular screwdriver. All right, let's take off the bolts that we had stored there. Right, so now this back uh, water line is going to be easier to hook up ahead of time rather than trying to, to fight with that. Get that on there. They're not always this difficult, but sometimes you just got to get them slid on there, so. You want to make sure that it covers that whole nipple. That's the end of it, at least. All right, so we're gonna tighten that down. And let's just put one bolt in here to hold it. Now this bolt here, because of its location. You need, this is the one you need the open end wrench for. The rest you should be able to reach. Okay. With the socket. Let's get them started. first. As you can see because of the head of this, that will not go on there. So we got to open and wrench. Snug 
that down, check your other ones, make sure they're all snug down. <laughs> connections out of the way now these two the nice thing about this is you can't mess up what they hook to this hooks to the water line back here you can see it in the back here this is your vent to your intake manifold totally different so you can't mess it up all right we're gonna hook up this one first when it goes back to the water supply Now when you first take these off, obviously they'll have a regular permanent clamp on there. Just cut that off and put these ratcheting clamps on. hook up our vent line and this comes from your float there's a float inside there and we'll show that at a later video how to check that clamp down now let's move to the fuel line that's going to be over here on your side next to where your fuel filter is Now we've got your fuel lines that are supplying your fuel rail and returning from your fuel rail. And the fortunate thing about those is they are also different sizes. You can't mess that up either. So make sure that you got an O-ring on here. You can see there's one there and there's one there. Okay. And I will be selling those on my website at mancavemechanic.com. Just gonna fish that line right in there. Get that started. And these are both, even though they're, the threading is different sizes, the nut is the same. It's five eighths. snugging it because it's got an o-ring on it so it doesn't need to be over overly done you'll bunch up the o-ring and, and break it okay now that's all the lines right there so you got one two three four water line five in the back other one in the back here is six okay now we've got our electrical connections here there's a little clip on here that you can take a regular screwdriver and pop that off of there. 
Okay. Now it doesn't really matter which ones this hooks to, but obviously the bent one, the longer one, goes to your low pressure because it's got a reach to it. So this only plugs in one way. They've made it real simple. That just clips right on there and it's good. Same thing with the low pressure side, you're gonna pull this clip off and you're gonna plug it right down at the bottom of the low pressure pump on the front. Okay. Again, you can't mess it up. It only goes on one way. I'm gonna put that clip on. And just make sure it's on there. Okay, last thing you're gonna to wanna to do is get some zip ties and tie that around there because these are really close to the belts and you don't want them jumping around and hitting the belts and wearing eventually and then you'll be stranded because it's wore through the through the wire so take a strap or a uh, a zip tie and just zip it right around there and uh, there you go so now the next step is you can't just leave it like that you've got to put a fuel filter on it all right, here's your fuel filter. Now when you fill this thing, it's drawing from the center. So we always wanna fill it through the holes here. So if you can plug that with, with something, with your finger or whatever, and fill the fuel in there, that goes through the fuel filter and then draws back out of the center, okay? This one is already filled. So what we wanna do is we wanna put oil on the, gasket okay. and we also want to put it on the seat which is here you won't be able to see this but smear it all you can feel it you can feel where the center part hooks up and then where it where it's smooth all the way around where that rubber gasket will sit up against it all right want to get it right up to the seat so it just touches it and then you want to go three quarters of a turn past so kind of look at where your where your um, fuel filter is positioned here so this one of the label is right there so we want the label then to go three quarters of the way around so if it's facing here we go all the way around to here and you may need a filter wrench to get that all the way around. Because it again, this is something else that you don't want to over tighten. Okay. Now what we're gonna do is we're gonna prime this. Before you can start this, there has to be fluid in the pumps and in the fuel cell, okay? The fuel cell is about that big and about that big around. So you're gonna have to prime this probably five to 10 times. And the way you do that is you turn your key on and you'll hear it beeping and pumping. Once you hear it stop, turn the key off, do it again. Do that five to 10 times, so let's try that. So you can hear it pump, that's one. Get right down there so you can hear the, that's two. Three, you may even hear the sound change where it's getting the, the draw of the gas in and up there. Yep, you can hear the sound change. Four.
down in the water. We're fortunate enough to be on a hoist right now. So we're just gonna lower it right down in the lake. If you're at home in your driveway or in your garage, put some earmuffs on it, run, run water to it. Through the out drive. That's how you install a Volvo fuel pump assembly in your boat. The problem with the Volvo fuel pump is that Volvo painted the inside of the pump and now is being affected by the ethanol that's in our fuel today. I offer a refurbished service that takes care of that and removes all the paint from the inside of your fuel pump. I'll leave my information below. You can also contact me at mancavemechanic.com or at mancavemechanic at gmail.com. If you'd like to see more of my videos, I'll leave links up here. If you'd like to visit my website, I'll leave a link over here. If you'd like to subscribe to my channel, go ahead and click here. Leave a like and comment. My name is Troy Bry with Man Cave Mechanic. Have a great day.